All right, so we, we have a game. We're going to play uh, Bet the Geek. Yay! And uh, our geek this week is Paul E. Cooley. Yay! <laughs> Drop that. Thanks for being volunteered. I'm so honored. I had no idea. I know you didn't. Thanks for being volunteered. <laughs> I, need a, I need a pen because I'm going to keep scoring. But the game is Beat oh. the Geek, right? I'm afraid. Not, not, <laughs> not, not Beat. Oh, oh. That's, that's later at the bar. Sorry, okay. Either. But uh, no, right now, uh, Paul, you are our geek, and the rest of the panel is going to try and make predictions on whether or not you are going to get an answer correct oh, or okay. incorrect. Yeah, yeah. The question is, it's jaywalking with a, you know, whatever. But, but we don't have to know the answer. It's just whether you get it right or not. That is correct. Right. That is correct. So... Paul, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you three questions that no one has to guess. So you just you just give your answers. This is what we call our, what do we call this? It's our vetting process. It's, our vetting it's, it's the happening. baseline. We're yeah, setting the baseline. baseline. Right. The baseline for my bullshit. Yes. Right. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, so question number one, Paul. Uh, and these are these are just all in, in very uh, various geek pop culture references, okay? Uh, this one happens to be movies. In Kill Bill... See Kill Bill? Don't answer that. Uh, what is the real name of the bride? <gasps> some people know it. Some people don't. Do, 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 yeah, let's just do, skip the doo doos. Do, do. What do you uh? What you got? Do Uma you, like, Thurman. <laughs> no. the, char- the character's name. The character's name. Uma Thurman. That's his guess. <laughs> That's his guess. Good okay. guess. No, that would be Beatrix Kiddo. All right. Your next question. This is mythology. In Norse mythology, oh God. what is the name of the home world of man? The home world of man? Mm-hmm. Here's a hint. Dude. We are on it right now. <laughs> Dude. Could it be Earth? No. no. Well, that's not what they call it. <laughs> Anyone? I'd like to steal. I'm going to start <laughs> screaming Ragnarok in a minute. <laughs> yes. Is it Midgard? That is correct, but Yay! you're not the geek. <clears throat> All right, and you're... Why is this testing? Wow, I suck at this. You, that, 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 no, you know what? It's Here's here's the funny thing. Can, no, can, can I get a question? I'm wrong. There is no funny can, thing. Can I get a question about Shakespeare, motherfucker? Come on. Uh, <laughs> close. Sea this, creatures, is close Shakespeare. this is as close as Shakespeare is we're going to get today. Okay, what is the third... What is the third danger of the fire swamp that Wesley says he doesn't <laughs> think exists? Rodents of unusual size. Oh, that is hey. There you go. So... Our geek has gotten one out of three. Now, this, this is difficult, right? I mean, some of you know, and if you know it, you know it. And if you don't, you don't. So, good luck with that. Now, how is this going to work? Every one of our panelists has six points right now, currently, okay? They can use up to one, two, or three points. Ten. To- ten points. Ten, ten points? <laughs> I've just been informed that they have ten points, ladies and gentlemen. The rule book was changed. Just I got four point. more this points. Just like Breaking every news. other, just like... Just like every other time we played, it's 10 points. Breaking news. <laughs> I've just been told that we have 10 points. That's breaking news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they can use, each panelist can use up to three points to bet whether uh, Pooley is going to get it right or wrong. Okay? And then we will score accordingly, and one of our panelists will win. The only loser here really is Cooley. But you know, that's what, that's what <laughs> he's here that, for. That, that's the way that's that you always started. Started. That's the way it's going to end. <laughs> we all came in knowing that. That's the, yeah. yeah. Right. All right. We're all born in this so, world. So what order are we going to go in, Mike? Nine answers, count as wrong. Yeah, it's got to be a right yes. answer or it's wrong. Right. Uh, well, why don't we kind of you just go down okay. the way. So Pete, Jack, Jack, Laura, Dave. Do I just okay. like stick my fingers in my ears or what? No, no, we're, no, so okay. you're no, going to no, ask he, oh, the question, oh, now, you're going to bet whether or not you know it. Yeah. Well, here is where you can game the system yourself, though, okay? I know you're a, and this is why I chose you, because you're a ravishing uh, young ravishing. actor. Young actor. Look at the hair. It's, and the face. Yes. Oh, and those well, shoes. And shoes. And that <laughs> lipstick. The shoes really set it off. So right. when I ask you the question, your best, either if you want to game everyone and go, <gasps> even if you know it, or if you don't know it, uh, you could go, uh, you know, let, let them look at you, get a look at you. And, ah, you know, bah. Yeah. Right, yes. <laughs> play, play to the Drama. What was this for? Hmm? The lipstick. Oh, oh the lipstick. <laughs> dear. 
All right, so Paul, here is question number one. Now remember, you do not answer this. Oh, well, we pause for a commercial by Revlon. Revlon, the lipstick that keeps on... There's nothing hotter than the weird hairs in your yeah. lipstick. This is NYX, by the way. It is not Revlon. Oh. They're boys. Hey, what's the shit? That's all right. They don't pay us either. This is NYX Ripe Berry. Ripe Berry. How does that taste? Ripe? I'm sorry? Show the lips off. <laughs> yeah, no. so, I'm sorry, what is your name again? Shay. Shay. Does Shay's berries taste good? Are they sweet? Shay's <laughs> berries are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't right. wait to have Shay's berries again. Oh, uh-oh. Back to our program. <laughs> <laughs> taste the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Back uh, to our program. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Back on track. Here is your question. Remember, you do not answer this until the panel has, has wagered. What is the title of the Monty Python song on reproduction and forbids <clears throat> masturbation and contraception? You did hear those, right? Just making sure you're okay. Peter? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go crazy right out the gate. I'm gonna say yes. He knows this one for three points. Three points. Wow. I don't think he knows it, and I'll bet a point on that. Okay. Mm. I think he does, but I will only bet two. Okay. Two is not very confident on his knowledge of That's three points. Hell no. Okay. <laughs> that he knows nothing about contraception <laughs> and or or Monty uh, Python. He knows plenty about masturbation though. <laughs> he has no children yet, so I think he might know about con- uh, honey. Know. Let me tell you something. I got three kids. And we're going to answer the question now. Can you answer the question for me? Every sperm is saved. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Every oh. sperm is great. Wow. If yes. a sperm so is wasted, God right. gets quite irate. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Let the heathen spill <laughs> this yeah, on the out. dusty ground. No extra points for the I oh, shall yeah. make the pain <laughs> for each wow. sperm that can't be found. Wow. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for the points. That is a long time. For my next number, I will sing, Isn't it awfully nice to have a penis? Right. <laughs> and then we'll sing, Always Look on the Bright Side of Life? Right. Yes. Okay. And the lumberjacks on. <laughs> All right, Paul. Your, yes. Your next question. What classic horror movie is... No- oh, Jesus. <clears throat> what classic horror movie is known for the tall man and deadly spheres? Um, Peter. This, this is Paul, and this is horror. Absolutely, yes, yeah. three. That is baby food taste. Right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this question. <laughs> Do you like to breathe air? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Oh, uh, given Pete's response, I'm going to go with yes for three. <laughs> Hell yes for three. Yes for one. Oh, okay. I like that, yeah. Is there like a ball that whizzes around with a little thingy on it? That would be phantasm. Yes. That is fantastically phantasm. That is correct. Come on, give me something tough here. Come on. Oh. Give me something tough. Oh, he could. Not that mid-god bullshit either. Give me something, you know, that I know that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, it wouldn't be tough, but that's beside the point. Ask you know what I'm saying? Just do it. Ask him something about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There you go. No, Jack, shit. <laughs> on, on your recommendation, since you love when I ask about 80s movies, yes, please. I will ask an 80s movies question. 80s mo- What 19... <clears throat> I'm sorry, let me my case in case. What 1981 movie was written by Terry Gilliam and Michael Palin and starred Sean Connery, John Cleese, and a slew of dwarves? <laughs> again, I, 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 I'm going with Cooley, yes, three, again. You just burying the needle, aren't you? I am, buddy? I am. I put my foot on the pedal, <laughs> push right. that bitch to the floor. He has great yeah. faith. He does. I don't know. Maybe he knows it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> Revlon, bitch! It's Revlon! Snakes. Um, snakes. 
Nick. Just to be contrarian, uh, I'm going to go he doesn't know it for one. Game okay. the system, ladies and gentlemen. Three, he doesn't. I don't know it. One. So I don't know if you know it. I don't know. Well, if you I'm, don't know it, surely he doesn't know it. That's my logic, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say two points for no. Okay. Two points for no. Three points for no. Three, Three points, points for no. Come on. I am trying to remember a line from this goddamn movie, and it's not coming to my head. What goddamn oh, movie? Yeah. What goddamn movie are you talking about? Yeah, don't touch it. It's evil. Boom, they all blow up. Yeah, Time bandits. Toaster. Time bandits. Time bandits. Nah. Nice. Damn. There, very good. Good toss. Thank you. Did you get that one? Uh, no. He's a tosser. I'm a tosser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did just a bad. <laughs> throw pay, throw oh, payment oh, in the other oh, <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. I apologize. Don't no sue problem. me. I didn't get make right. the movie. You don't have anything. Pete, what is our score? Why are we doing All right, our score currently, I'm at 19, Jack is at 11, Laura is at 13, and Dave is at 5. <laughs> Shit. Oh, did I mention this is for, you know, the worst points you can get? Dave, you're doing great. Thanks, man. You're doing great. Right. Um... Here's our next question. What is the depth? This is a science question. Here we go. I thought it was going to be a Dr. Ruth question. <laughs> <when you> started <laughs> out like that. Continue. <laughs> what is the depth of one fathom? Oh, fuck. Hey, good. Yeah, good. Wait, what would telescope that, be? that knowledge. <laughs> what would that oh, be? Right. Poker face. Yeah. What would that be? All right, you know what? I got enough points that I can take a gamble on this. In what? Hey, in water. A fathom, yes, that is the depth of uh, so far down there, one fathom. So, so uh, in what? keep in mind, I oh, yes, write monster feet. books that take uh, place in underneath feet. the ocean. In feet. In feet. I'm sorry. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that, that Cooley wrote the black and then another black and another black and there's another black on and the there's way. there's more black coming. And, and there's yeah. people flying in a ship called the black. Uh, I'm going to say that he, he's got to know this. got to know this. I'm going to say yes, three. No, two. Yes, no three. Two, no two fathoms are alike. <laughs> yes, three. Yes, three. And now for a fathom event. Right. <laughs> can, now, you, can you fathom this answer? Yes. <laughs> can you fathom what one fathom in feet is? Not a fucking clue. Oh! oh! Yes! Yes! I mean, come oh, on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> God! Bad writer! Bad! Here, here, I'm gonna give that one to you. There. You just keep put that one in your pocket. Yeah, put oh. that in your pocket. That's six feet. It's that's that's, that's like almost two meters. Sorry. Come on. That's a, what almost. The hell? But almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Atomic weapons. And atomic weapons. That is true. That is true. So, uh, wow. Yeah, that that one was my baby food question to you. No, it wasn't a baby food. Who the fuck uses fathoms? <laughs> Who the fuck uses fathoms? I don't, I don't know. know. People, people write books about <laughs> it. Are we going to Do you know you're waiting stone, bitch? <laughs> a lot of stones. I mean, we're talking about that wasn't like, the He's answer. practically you know a castle. Mike, Mike goes up the <laughs> Mike is a rook. <laughs> Mine doesn't go to stones, it's boulders. All right, here we go. This is the last question. This is for all the marbles. Marbles. And that question is... It's a science question. You ready? Oh, Oh, yeah. All right. When approaching a black hole, what should you be wearing? (laughs) When approaching a black hole. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. (laughs) When pegging, what? Not a cornhole, a black hole. Okay, sorry. Right. Sorry. Wrong hole. When approaching a black hole, what is the name of the boundary referred to as the point of no return? No return. All right. Peter. Again, he got me on this last one. I know. He writes he books did, in space. He books writes in books in space. Oceans. He's got to know what this is. Right? One with eight. Hey, do you know what it is? And it's a black hole. It's got do the word you know black. What it is? I do. I do. Well, by, should, by, by my logic, by right? you win the okay. logic. Right, yeah. By your logic. All right. So, <laughs> so <laughs> <by> Peter <laughs> Prince. Hey, hey, I'm man of these safety does not depend on that. I am. I'm going to keep my uh, my uh, pedal strictly to the floor. Oh. Yes, three. Yes, three. Wow. Wow. You write books about space and shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
And lots of shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hear that's how Mike and Pete die in your next book. <laughs> you definitely have a scatological death. Yeah. <laughs> in the meat <laughs> cellar. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to say he knows it because he knows the space shit, and I'll go knows it for three. Okay. Knows it for three. Uh, I'm going to say no for two. Okay. Whoa. Nicole, you don't know what the point of no return is? It doesn't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Peter, I think I, like, I can only wager two points at this point. Is that you have correct? eight. No, you have eight. Okay, I'm up. Oh, yep. great. Yep. Yeah, I'll say three. He doesn't know it. Doesn't know it for three. Okay, got it. <clears throat> Copycat. What? Just like you. Is the point just of no return on a corn? I mean, a black hole. Well, if I'm correct, it's one of my favorite horror, also the title of one of my favorite horror movies, which is Event Horizon. Eternal Sunshine of the... Mo- yes. Oh, what? <laughs> That's completely different. It's a horror movie. <laughs> Event Horizon. That is correct. <laughs> Peter, what is our final score? All right, I'm going to start with so lowest close. to highest, so I can just go all the way down there and come up this way. Uh, Dave. <laughs> and end with our winner. Yes. D- Dave with five points. Uh, I want to say that, that Dave had a lot of no threes on Cooley, which... Uh, Clearly underestimated the Cooley. Yes. <laughs> deeply underestimated the Cooley. Even, in both directions. Right. <laughs> in his black hole and everything. Uh, Laura oh. Nicole, has, uh, she, she came in uh, second to last place with eight. Jack came in uh, at 16. And I came in as the winner at 19. Woo! It's rigged! It's rigged! Russian collusion! Collusion? This is how I always thought this game was. It's like, there's something fishy going on here. It's always winning. It's all fixed. It's all fixed. Oh, yes. No, it is still broken. But that is Bet the Geek, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. All right, so we are we are just about at time, which is fantastic. Good timing on that. Um, I you. want, however, before we go anywhere, uh, I want everyone to pimp the crap out of whatever it is that you got. So, it, it, so let's start down at Dave. What you got? Uh, geez, where do you start? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> let, actually, let, yeah. Um, I will say, uh, currently I'm producing Under Radio, uh, uh, which is a weekly geek news podcast coming out from the Ed Greenwood Group and uh, Under Media. Um, I have been the host of the Roundtable podcast, which is currently on hiatus, but will be reactivating in July. Um, and uh, there's 200 back issues of uh, episodes of that to check out, where we invite writers to come onto the show and pitch a story idea to an established veteran author. Paul E. Cooley was one of those authors back in the early days. Uh, and then we brainstormed the story idea for 45 minutes. It's creative extravaganza. And complete craziness. www.roundtablepodcast.com uh, Yeah, I'm Laura Nicole, and I've been on a lot of different podcasts and audio dramas over the past over the years. My current project is uh, Resident Moon Audiobook Solutions. I am tired of listening to the sound of my own voice, so I want to edit other people's stuff. Um, so I edit podcasts and audiobooks and, uh, you know, just just work in that technical mojo. And you can find that at ResonantMoon.com. Oh, and she edits, she edits uh, some I, stuff for me. I do edit fantastic. some stuff for... She does a good uh, job. Thanks. But not, oh. but not this show. But... Maybe this show later. Maybe later. That'll be <laughs> that'll be that'll be awkward. Right? But <laughs> all of a sudden she won. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just move this around here. <laughs> I am Parsec Award winning douchebag Paul E. Cooley. Um, I'm a writer of fantasy, horror, sci-fi, thriller, suspense. Uh, I used to do things with Muppets, but that got too dangerous with Disney, so I don't do that anymore. But I still want to. Um, so do we. Yes. <laughs> um, I was going to let Can you that clarify that? Go. No, yeah. I'm not going to oh. clarify it. Where's the hand go? <clears throat> Let's talk about the scene. You know, there's... Oscar did once upon a time. <laughs> Claim me all. Complain about a hand being up his ass. Anyway, I'm the author of the Black series, which has three books. Currently, I'll be working on a fourth this year. New oh, yeah. series this year dropped called Derelict, which is about uh, takes place in the far future. 
Uh, ship gets sent out to Alpha Centauri, goes missing, comes back 43 years later. They send a, a rescue crew to go check it out, and um, hilarity ensues. Uh, first book uh, dropped in January, became an Amazon bestseller. Second book, Tomb, dropped yesterday, and it's well on its way. So, What number is that at? That goes out. Huh? Where are you at on that? What's the number? Uh, it was under 5,000. It's nice. So it's moving down. Um, all my stories are podcasted for free at shadowpublications.com. I'm also a co-host of the Dev Robot Society writing podcast, which you can find at devrobotsocietypodcast.com. There you go. Jack. T- oh, you want me to pimp stuff? Yeah. Mo- yes, I'll be performing mo-mo. at the Meat Cellar, as of, uh, <laughs> before mentioned. In- <laughs> so I will be hanging beef slab number four. <laughs> Um, I'm on inspector number three. Well, you stamp all that shit, right? I inspect number three. That's for he sure. He has a tenderloin. Yes, oh. it's very true. Oh. It's very true. I'm on the Mythwits podcast, which you can check out with these two clowns. Uh, I also do a podcast called the Flex Mentello Show, which is about uh, mostly about comic books and other nerd culture and, and stuff like that. And uh, that's all I got to pimp. Okay. I am on this show. <laughs> <laughs> and I barely am good at doing that. Right? But you should definitely check this show out. <laughs> when you're like checking this show out? Listen, listen. We here on this show, we, we get the crusty brand seal of approval. It's not just good, it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course, uh, I I'm the, the head clown on this this misfit ride of the Mythwits. Um, but I just want to point out that we have, we're on all the social medias, and we've got all the Mythwits is, is all of them. So if you go anywhere to Twitter, Facebook, whatever, any, it's always Mythwits. And, Myth- Mythwits. and then you can do Mythwits.com. That's our, that's our page. Uh, I also am the new media director for TSR Games, which is back in service. Not, not Wizards of the Coast. This is the, the trademark had lapsed, and uh, this guy Jason Elliott picked it up. Uh, and he's working with the Gygax boys on this. Um, so they're relaunching a bunch of games and stuff. And we, you know, I'm running the media end of that. So we have a podcast network, which Mythwits is part of. Um, and then we also have a show called Game School, which we interview game designers. So we interview the actual game designers. So we would get John Wick to come on to talk about 7C. And then he runs a demo after he explains how the game, how the game works. Uh, and it's a short demo. You know, it's usually like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. And then we do some long play. Uh, but I also have a Cube of Death, which is another game that I was that I'm, I've made, and I, we did that into a podcast. It's a lot of fun. It's a trivia RPG. That's where these questions. That's come where these, from, that's where the questions yeah. come from. So when you answer questions, when you answer questions correctly, you damage the creature or the other person, and then they do it to you. And it's it's pretty fun. It's yeah. a fun show. Um, and that is all I really have to pimp, other than uh, all I wanted to say is that uh, we Mythwits we run live Monday nights at nine o'clock. Uh, 9 30, that is. Uh, I'm always having to be online at 9. Eastern Standard yeah. Time, <laughs> yes. Mike starts at 10. Right. I try and wake up in time. Right. Um, and if you're a guest on the show, you get to see them scream at each other like an old married couple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Before the show starts. The, the pre show is the best it's part. So good. So we got to start recording that. Yes, we do. Yeah. Um, and just to say that, you know, please feel free to. Uh, we go live on. Um, what do we go live or on? Or Twitch. Now? On Twitch. And we um, re upload to uh, YouTube. 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 Yeah. And so please feel free to stop by Twitch and jump in the chat room. We always are, we love, we always interact. I mean, like, there's only three people that usually come and check us out, you know, live. Be that fourth person. <laughs> I promise you, I will say your name and I will say whatever you tell me to say. <laughs> what yeah, what hey. could go worse than what we've said right. tonight? <laughs> yeah, how are you going to ruin this shit? Yeah, I know. You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Mythwits Podcast. New episodes go up on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. These are cut from the live show recorded the previous week. You can catch the live show on Twitch Mondays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Jump into the chat room and ask our guests questions. If you miss our live show, you can always catch the Encore episodes at YouTube slash Mythwits. Find us at Mythwits.com and on Facebook. Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and SoundCloud as The Mythwits. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. Please give us a bunch of stars and a review on iTunes. Screenshot that shit, post it to our Facebook page, and I'll personally send you something special. Mythwits is part of the TSR Podcast Network. 
If you like us, you're bound to like the other great shows there as well. Check out TSRPN.com. Miswit is a Creative Commons product. Make sure to check out Studio187.com for more cool stuff and join our mailing list. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And until next time.